Mary team here, MVP Hot 6, playing today. We got, of course, Banwa, Jube, Musica, Rati, and Nuts. Yeah. Uh, pretty strong these days. Like they been, They've been doing really well in KDL and uh, in the SKA tournaments too. Uh, taking first in the, no, second in the ID uh, qualifiers for SEA. Uh, barely losing to Rave in the finals is going to go to China instead of them. Wow, it's pretty good, especially for them now in Tier 2. Yeah. Would you expect them to move up to Tier 1 next season? Yes, uh, I, think, I think it's very possible. Yeah. Uh, I think they're looking like they're looking very strong and probably better than some of the better of the lower Tier 1 teams, so at least on par. So. Yeah. Well, here we also got Get Out. We got Mega Play, Gist, Garl, Pus, and Chief. Yeah, uh, doing like one two right now in this season. They beat Monkey Spanner, which was a huge, huge upset, the biggest of the of yeah. uh, this season so far. I heard you uh, talking in the back room a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, 2D, 2D was uh, playing uh, with me on Monkey Spanner season one. He's here today uh -huh. in the audience. Maybe we'll get a shot of him. Uh, He's a fan of everybody here, Monkey yeah. Spanner and etc. And uh, he's here to watch some KDL. Yeah. yeah. Well, here we got Get Outs in the booth, looking pretty flashy in their KDL jerseys. Don't have jerseys of their own just yet. Maybe if yeah. they start to do a little bit better, you know, beating Monkey Spanner must be a pretty di big deal yeah, for them. Yeah. So and, uh, they're on the way up, you could say, I guess. Yeah, very. Uh, they've been clutch on. Uh, I will. I would not. I'm not. I'm not gonna give Get Outs too many chances uh, for this game, but. Nobody was uh, was gonna bet on them for, against Monkey Spanner, and they still won. And they didn't even cheese Monkey Spanner. They played a straight up game. And they wow. just outplayed them. Well, you know, as they say, practice makes perfect. And if you're the one team that's practicing, you know, 14, 16 hours a day, you're going to improve. It's yeah. just going to happen. So, if that's what they're doing, the other teams here in Tier Two aren't really doing it. Namely, Monkey Spanner. I'm not saying anything, you know, <laughs> but um, it can happen. They, yeah. uh, upsets can happen. But uh, against MVP Hot 6, I think we're going to see a different game than against Monkey Spanner. I think they're definitely going to try to cheese Monkey Spanner, uh, Hot 6. Yeah. Because uh, otherwise, uh, Hot 6 is way too solid. They're not going to make the same mistakes and be as cocky as uh, Monkey Spanner was, especially after seeing what happened to them. Hot 6 watched that game, so yeah. they know that they can't like be too cocky and like play your or carry or yeah. things like that. <laughs> definitely, like, definitely true. If you do get cocky as well against some of these lower teams, you can drop games. It, it comes down to best of ones here. So Yeah, it happened like in every season. Like Season one, Rave, uh, previous Rave, like lost to Nemesis, which was one of the lower tier teams, and we lost as Monkey Spanner to Nemesis too. Wow. So like, there's like, a lot of uh, upsets that happened because uh, teams were not expecting yeah. some cheese, cheese strats or whatever. So I'm Especially sure. you know, in a newer league where not all the teams are super well known, they're going to bring out strategies and stuff that you're just not used to or you may underestimate them as may have been the case there for Monkey Spanner. Yeah, exactly. But it looks like we are going to go ahead and get right into this pick and bans phase. Yes. And, uh, it seems like Get Out is going to be on Radiance, Hot Six on Dire. Mm -hmm. So can expect some uh, get outs like in first band. Do not want to give it some dire. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Gonna have to wait and see. Looks like they're going into a bit of extra time here. Actually taking a while to, to make this first band. Yeah, it's uh uncharacteristic. Oh, they're banning the death profit that they really like. Mm -hmm. Scarab first band. Okay, my uh might indicate that they want to play Brewmaster, but I think Hot Six has the first pick, so they might get it themselves. They like it. Uh -huh. and, uh, so we'll have to see what this is the second band. Maybe Viper. Viper is in the pool. Doom is in the pool. Uh, there's a lot of things yeah. left to ban, especially with its Skyrath first band uh, and Dead Prophet. Mm. They're not in the necessarily uh, first band usually. There's, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff left out, like yeah. Viper, Doom. A Shadow Shaman. Do you feel like, since you said, you know, it's not usually the first band, do you feel like it's a bit of a more targeted band, or you think it's trying to ban something out that they just don't want to play against for yeah. the strategy that they're going to try to use? Yeah, probably. Uh, that profit is not that unusual to see first band, and okay, they go for the Lycan ban, which uh, indicates they don't, they don't want to get it. And they, just wanna, they don't want to give it away either. So. Uh -huh. And then Viper. the Viper ban there. Yes. So it's going to be Doom is most very likely. Doom or, uh, or the Shadow Shaman. I think the next like big, big higher tier here is left, and yeah, Doom comes yeah. out. You're on point here today, Karn. You're making all the calls. 
Uh, we'll see. Knowing how Gerard's play, maybe I can't expect a Shadow Charm because uh, it's, it's a very good hero to take advantage of any uh, advantage you get. Uh, mm -hmm. Capitalize on it on the timing and get towers, get objectives. Yeah. So we'll have to see uh, what they're gonna go for. Or well, they could just go for a completely different thing, like cheese. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to take a look at what they're picking. But here's Musica, Justin Nguyen. Likes to play that Nature's Prophet, Faces Void. Currently, yeah, there's uh, their offing player now. He, okay, and uh, this is talking about Nature's Prophet. Yeah, he there he in. is. And that Shadow Shaman you were talking about as well, so. That's a lot of pushing power already. Yeah. Death Prophet is banned, but they do have two other heroes that are very good against that pushing. Yeah. Or, and, uh, or for the pushing, yeah. rather. Uh, very good against pushing too. Yeah. Because uh, she has a very low cooldown, high damage uh, uh, AoE nuke that's very uh, long range too, so it's pretty difficult to push against her. That Prophet can defend towers, at least still pushes by herself pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Tinker pick here. They got both Tinker and Doom, so. Uh, late game already looks pretty good for Hot Six. Yeah. I think they have late game secure. They can even negate. Uh, okay, they ban Razor, which is a good ban because uh, Doom the Doom is probably the worst hero against Razor. Mm -hmm. Razor doesn't care about Doom; he just uses his ultimate and just runs it yeah. or BKB anything. If he can link before, he's happy. If he can, whatever, he still has his uh, out of the storm going on. Yeah, here's Jest. Looks like support player here. So yeah. Ancient Apparition and Shadow Shaman there picked by him previously, and Rod G here for MVP Hot Phoenix. Yeah, and Blue Master. Master yeah. Speaking of Blue Master, he hasn't been touched yet. Which is very, very surprising. Yeah. Uh, usually he always makes the first pick or first ban. And now he's been completely ignored, even though uh, Skyrath was first ban. Mm -hmm. So it means like his most, his hardest counter with uh, maybe Doom is uh, not even in the picture. So I'm not exactly sure uh, why that happened. So we lost uh, some monitor power here. <laughs> Yeah, Looks like Karn may have kicked out his cable, but uh, we will be able to cast off the big screen for now. Al, we back. do have her. Do you have it back? I've seen like Pugna apparently is an expand. So yeah, they're expecting some really heavy push strat from Get Outs. Mm. Uh, Razor very good at pushing too. Uh, very good against Doom, so it's a normal, pretty good ban. Yeah. You just feel like MVP Hot Six is just trying to make solid picks while trying to, you know, defend against whatever getouts may be trying to do against them. Yeah, I think they're just picking solid, solid picks that they feel like they can outplay getouts with, and they're removing all the heroes that can like push them down before they can do anything. And that prophet gone, Lycan gone, Razor gone, Pugna gone. It's mm. basically any hero that could have uh, made the getout push uh, even stronger than it is now. Yeah. Well, this is a very important pick here for get outs. They got to get a, another pick here. And we see that Earthshaker pick, so okay. second support picked up there. Yeah. Um, I really feel like uh, get outs is going to go for a DK. It's a hero that Gar likes to play. I think it's his favorite hero. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very good in this kind of a pushing lineup. As soon as you get your Dragon Form up, you can go and pressure a tower, push it. With the support of Earthshaker too, protecting you and uh, Mass Open Wards. Uh, Treants, uh, it's gonna be pretty... They have a Tinker though, so they can kind of defend against it, but the thing is, uh, Shadow Shaman is pretty good against Tinker, because Marsh of the Machines doesn't do anything against the wards. Yeah. So, they'll have to... Oh, and Centaur. Centaur. Would be very good with that ultimate, great for initiating. Especially yes. once it gets that Blink Dagger. Yes, to initiate is. quite well. It's gonna help a lot to stop the push, like, take out someone from the fight, like, from the get go, like, stop yeah. the double edge. Follow up from Tinker, maybe do. We'll see what they're gonna pick up next. And it's pretty much a dead, like a they have like squishy heroes for now. They get out. So oh, and silencer. What do you feel like the idea behind that is? Where do you think that's gonna go? I think it's gonna be a carry silencer because uh, Aghanim's on a silencer is extremely good against Tinker, and uh, I think that might be what they're looking for. It's kind of a Tinker counter. Doom is usually like one of the big heroes that you get against a Tinker, you do him and okay, it's done. But a Silencer too can work. Since, yeah. uh, Ooh, and a counter pick up here. Hmm. It's something that uh, Hot Six likes to run. Uh, Jubei plays it, I think. They play a Kunkha, support Kunkha most mm -hmm. of the time. So I'm expecting a support Kunkha, mid uh, Tinker, carry Doom and uh, offlane Centaur. Mm -hmm. 
Hano has been playing only two heroes this season, as you can see. But it's been literally all I've seen from him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to see what they ban now. A couple more bans left. And it's a uh, Kunkai is good good follow up to the sensor initiation. They used to stop into torrents and the boats. And yeah, they banned the Shadow Demon because it's uh, extremely strong as a support duo against uh, with the uh, with Kunka. So they they make sure they don't get this easy easy setup for the Kunka. It's gonna make rotations much much uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. But the thing is like uh, Giraffe's uh, like Silencer is pretty okay against this. And yeah, boom! Finally, boom! I should get banned. Final ban. That's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a, I haven't seen this in ages. Wow. Well, get out. They have one more pick left here. Yeah, like they need. Uh, I think they need their uh, mid hero. Yeah. Um, that's why the boom master ban kind of came. Like boom master plus silencer would have been good too. Like boom master can initiate and global. Yeah. And follow up. The thing is, like they, I think they lacked follow up if they had this. It's like they have a lot of heroes to make space, but you have to make space for something. Yeah. So uh, I would like to see uh, a bit of farming mid. If they don't get a farming mid, then we like this. They're probably gonna go for some kind of a all-in push. Some kind of all-in push kind of comp yeah, thing. Yeah. So maybe a mid hero that can push well. DK, DK. I think is exactly what they're gonna pick now. Yeah. I think DK. I think it's a DK. So I have to see if they. I mean. Is that uh, your final answer, Karn? Yeah, that's my final answer. <laughs> DK, get out. That's what you want. That's what you're gonna get. Stop waiting. <laughs> you have your you have your cursor on the hero right now. You're like, oh, are we gonna do it? Like YOLO? What is going on? What are you, what are we doing? Yes, we, yes. We gotta look at Chief, who seems to be the mid player there. Mm, Chief? Oh no, it's Garo. Oh mid okay. Player. Chief actually have. What? Who is Chief? He's down there on the bottom. I actually I haven't seen him before. I don't know who that is. Oh, okay. There's maybe some uh, name rename going on. Yeah. Change his nickname again, like, or maybe it's a stand-in. I don't know. This is really weird. I, I we got him on camera, and it seemed like he was counting stuff. So. Oh, I'm looking at their booth, and there's no picture for the, the fifth player. So I guess it's a stand-in. Yeah, I guess it must be. Yeah, it must be. So uh, and yeah, DK, here it is. Your final answer was correct. You move on yes. to the to the next tier here. The hot seat, though, I don't, I'm not sure, though. Like, uh, that is a low hat. And yeah, okay, Ruby. <laughs> How can he see anything? I don't know, man. He's, He's nuts, uh, man. All right, like they're like, you're not going to play Skyrath this game. Last three games, Skyrath. You guys like, yeah. nah, nope. Well, a good ban there, and a good last pick in Rubik. Going to nuts, it looks like. Well, what I want to see is like... Uh, the global steel. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I want to see a global steel. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna get to see this man. But. Well, it looks like we're about to jump into game number one here for tier two. It's MVP Hot Six, as you do see in the booth, lining up, getting ready to get into this game. Drinking that Red Bull, that's Hot Six, rather. It makes sense because the team's name is Hot Six. They're gonna be going up against Get Outs. Over here in their cool KDL jerseys. And let's do it. Let's jump right into game number one here. MVP Hot Six versus Get Out. Match 13. Yeah. Match 13. Match 13. Like the number of the matches here, the Spo TV. It looks like we got a pause right off the bat. Would you say that's a good strategy going for the pause? Yeah, like the <laughs> the early like start pause, like it's frustrated yeah. opponent, especially when there's they know they're gonna win or they expect to win. They're like, nah, 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 wait, wait a second. <laughs> we need second. more time to deal yeah, with this yeah. reality. Yeah, I guess it's gonna annoy you. Like they wanna just jump into the game. Like, okay, let's let's get done with this. <laughs> We're supposed to win, so. Yeah. Let's not waste more time. Just get back home, and practice more for uh, more important matches or whatever. That's probably what they're thinking, but yeah, love to see. Well, I see in the chat, as I do have my little laptop here, uh, it seems like the game sound, they can't hear the game sound all of a sudden. So uh, well, that's inconvenient. Yeah, we'll try to get that fixed. Ooh. Zephyr with his girlfriend. Uh, Zephyr Blitz. <laughs> Zephyr with his girlfriend. <laughs> Blitz. I guess she came from America, stay in Korea a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Supposed yeah. To be happy about it. I saw her come into the back room uh, earlier on. I, uh, yeah. I didn't notice her, unfortunately. Um, for you guys who don't know, I'm not the biggest Dota guy here. I'm actually filling in for Moonglade. I am normally a StarCraft two caster, yeah. um, as is Moonglade. But um, did a little bit here in the beginning of KDL, and then I went back to America. Karn started to fill in, and it just kind of worked out. You know, Karn having much better knowledge than I ever had. So that duo kind of worked out. I'm here filling in for Moonglade. Yeah. Happy to be here with you today, Karn. Yeah, man. On your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan gracing us with his presence on his own birthday. So. Yeah. We're going to be casting StarCraft 2 later yeah. as well. For you guys who are interested, we got the Kespa Cup. It's the finals, Protoss yep. versus Protoss. That's the last I'll mention of a different game than Dota. I know uh, <laughs> you Dota guys are very sensitive about different games. so well, It's okay. A lot of people who play or watch StarCraft uh, do the same with Dota and vice versa. So Yeah. I know as a, as a caster out here, all of us have to kind of stay, you know, present like modern with all the new games that are coming out. So played a lot of Hearthstone, a lot of Here's the Storm, that alpha that's out as well, as yeah. well as Dota 2. You know, yeah. I played a bunch of that as well, so got to stay in touch yeah, man. with all the different games. All games are fun when they're good. Yeah. So as long as it's good. It's uh, that is all that matters, actually. Yeah, man. I don't know what the big deal about the, the game rivalries that goes on, especially, you know, between Dota 2 and the game that uh, shall not be named. Exactly. It starts with an L. Um, and ends with an L, like how... <laughs> I mean, come on. They could have done better. Yeah. Uh, cast and Rior. He's enjoying his, <laughs> his ramen, his cup ramen. Yeah. Having the UK Jong flavor. No, I, I like that as well. It's pretty good. Yeah, actually, that's the one I eat too. Yeah. Uh, usually. Uh, the spicy one, a little bit spicy. Which Is one? Wh oh, the, the UK Jong? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty spicy, yeah. Yeah. Um, usually, I prefer the small one because when it's bigger, it's. Uh, there's not enough spice, like the, you know, the little the, thing? The powder. Yeah, the powder is not enough in. of it, so yeah. then it's too... It's too watery. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so I only get the small one. The you small know what you could do, Karn, is uh, just put in a little bit less water. and. Uh, no, but there's more There's more noodles, man. Oh, well, yeah, I yeah, guess man. so. Come on, man. You're, you're, you're wrecking me with this knowledge right now, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the cup ramen knowledge, man. Yeah. I, uh, I have a friend that works in uh, a convenience store here in Korea, actually, recently... And he said that, um, he pointed out to me like two of the most bought flavors by uh, the Koreans that come in usually. And I tried both of them. They're both uh, udon, you know, the, the Japanese udon. Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, it's like eh. It's eh. Uh, it's eh. I, I'm okay with it. I, I actually enjoyed it a Wait, little which bit one better than normal, uh, I guess. Which one exactly? Um, one of them was, uh, I, I forget the name exactly, but it's like fried udon, mm -hmm. basically. And the other one was just udon as well, but it, it had a different name. I can point them to, out to you a little bit later. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I actually don't think I tried them. Uh, I obviously ate like regular udon like in yeah. restaurants or whatever, but I haven't eaten like uh, uh, convenience the, the store. Couple stuff. Yeah, a couple yeah. of stuff I haven't. Mm. I tried some some stuff, but yeah, the yuk kejang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at. Yeah, man. I don't know. The small Do one. all the Dota players like that kind of? I don't uh, know, man. It seems so or? like. <laughs> We already have, uh, we saw two. It was like me and Cast, and then I don't know about yeah. the others. I haven't seen the other uh, guys. You should ask around about their favorite, uh, favorite cup noodles. Yeah, I hope we, should, we should get them like uh, after the games, like interview them. Okay, which, yeah. which cup noodles do you like the most? They think like we're going to go interview them about their games <laughs> or Dota 2, and uh, the first question we ask is so, we have a very important question for you. What is your favorite cup noodles? Yeah, man. <laughs> so that Dota fans know what kind of cup noodles they have to eat if they're in Korea. Yeah. If they want to. I know that um, before I came to Korea, I was pretty interested in Korean food, and um, I got you know Shin Ramen. It's it's oh, basically yeah, actually, like it's it's the most basic one, the red one. Yeah, that's really spicy. Yeah, Fun, really uh, spicy. Like it's, re it's relative, but it's the most spicy one I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was way too spicy for me at that time, yeah, yeah. but uh, I got used to it, and uh, it was it's pretty okay. good. It's but it looks okay. like we're gonna jump back into this game. Enough talk about cup ramen. Yep, musika. Uh, AKA Justin. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, uh, it seems like Get Out smoking to the Hot Six jungle, but Hot Six is just doing, this, doing the same, not spending it, but not spending the smoke. So it's already small advantage for Hot Six. Yeah. They're getting uh, the warding uh, like a camp to avoid double, double pulls. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Get Out's probably gonna be. 
Yeah, they're wearing like a big cam maybe for Doom in case they have a jungle Doom. But uh, I think it's just gonna be carry Doom. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who's on who's on it. I think it's uh, Banoa should be. Yeah, Banoa on Doom, so carry Doom. Hmm. Garl is gonna go be going mid. And uh, apparently, yes, uh, carry Silent, sir. I should expect. Yeah. So you're right on point with that prediction as well. We got Pusk or Pusk. How do you pronounce that name there? I don't know. Pusk. Please. Pusk. All right. We'll call him Pusk. Mega play here as well on Earthshaker. Let's see if he can show us some of these. Yeah. Gist last. Yeah. Hope you can get the gist of things as we get going here. Yeah. Shadow Shaman. Yeah. And it seems like it's an aggressive trident for uh, Hot Six. Which yeah. is a. Well, Garl already taking a lot of damage, unnecessary damage. Yeah. Looks like MVP already wanted to move in there on Pass, but nice Fissure coming down, blocking that. Now letting it come into fruition. Well, the thing is, like, uh, Hot Six has a two melee tri lane, so uh, uh, they can. Like, they, they need, like, to. In the early levels, get uh, some advantage. Like, get a lot of harassment done so that they cannot be allowed like to just go in and, and uh, like get kills freely they should uh, if, if they decide like to go aggressive which they will uh, they need at least uh, get out needs to make sure they at least get trades yeah they have uh, pretty squishy heroes so this is a problem they're probably scared to get get initiated on level one but level one I don't think this is gonna be too easy for uh, hot six especially with central that is gonna have to get the hoof stomp instead of the double edge so they're gonna be lacking damage yeah yeah. Rubik does literally no damage, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, we got to push down onto the tower over there. We got Kunkka moving around. Uh, Rubik uh, stacking the ancients for Tinker later. It's going to be uh, one of the things Get Out has to focus on, like ward the ancients, or at least deny the pulls. Yeah. If you get a lot of stacks there, you know, Tinker's just able to go over there a little bit later and just get tons of farm. Yes. And, uh, this is one of the things that makes the hero strong too. It's like even if uh, he doesn't have the best laning stage, he can catch up easily with uh, uh, spamming marches on the ancient stacks or even jungle stacks. So it's something that they have to look out for. And Nos has an invis rune, very good rune for... Uh, yeah, it looks like he may want to go on here onto Pass. Yeah, Urchaker is not here and they need him to... Uh, I guess, oh, can they get it? Telekinesis goes down. He tries to get some damage down. Shackle out of Gist. Getting a lot of damage onto Shentor, but he will get away. Yeah. yeah it was only a uh, level 1 curse, and so it doesn't do that much. Mm -hmm. Actually, level 1 curse, I don't think it's worth it. It costs probably too much mana for what it does. Mm -hmm. So I would just wait until you level it up a bit before yeah, you start like spamming level, it. Yeah, level 3 maybe. No, yeah, when you're level 3 and you have level 2 curse, then yeah, you can use it. Because uh, then they can just wait it out and not waste a spell. If you level it up, they have to use a spell, otherwise they lose more mana. Yeah. So this is something that... Uh, uh, Banwa's... Uh, Banwa. Centaur, Centaur player. Musica has been good with, uh, good at not wasting his uh, mana, like using a stomp when it's only a level 1 curse. Yeah. Well, we got Chief up there on that offlane, doing well for himself, it seems. Yeah, we got Kunk well. up there as well, well trying to make something it. happen. Okay, you know, that's actually already pretty good for uh, get outs. Like the thing is, like they're not getting that much farm, but at least like the the trident, they man they just managed to send Centaur back to base. So he's gonna lose a lot of farm. They're gonna get some space on the bottom lane. They're gonna be able to pull. I think they managed to deward everything. Yes, they did. So they're gonna be able to stack and uh, pull some. And, uh, Pull, maybe pull uh, pull ahead a little bit in uh, XP. Uh, this trident versus trident. Yeah. Kunkka up here picks up the double damage rune. Saw him trying to stack those uh, creeps there in the jungle as well. Mm -hmm. He hasn't skilled his second point yet. He has one level in Torrent, but he's waiting to see what he's uh, gonna need, I guess. Oh, and Ooh, we got a kill already on the Gist here. Going down. Musica taking a bit of damage as well. Sorry we didn't get that on camera, but... That was, a, that was a two on three, and they just get the first blood like this, and do not get punished for it. Yeah. So not the best start here for get outs. Yeah. I mean, we were predicting they wouldn't do so well here against Hot Six. Hot Six is a very solid team. But, yeah, and uh, like even the it's like top uh, Doom is 
dominating the uh, religious prophet. It's like eight lasses to thirty-four. He just got going in here. He gets the stun there and the double edge. He might go down though as well. Uh, oh, oh no, he just barely gets out there with the wand. Shackles coming down, but it's not going to get much damage. Trying to get the telekinesis onto Mega Play. Not quite enough damage coming out onto him as well, and no further kills. Does he have? Uh, no, he doesn't have mana. He's just. We're just putting pressure on him. Like, like hey, you cannot. Just, I'm not going to allow you to, to get any last hit. That's not unnecessary. Yeah. Great Doom play so far out of Bomb. And, oh, meanwhile, maybe. Oh, no, he doesn't have mana. Ah, but Prophet TPs at the right time. Yeah. Nice TP in. Going to clean up here. Going to try to get a kill back for get outs. That's that does good. go to Nature's Prophet, so. Really they really nice need the. Farm. Yeah, they really need things like this. Uh, Bottom not going well, top not going well. The only one doing okay is uh, DK. And, well, he managed to uh, set up a kill on Tinker. And uh, oh, they they awarded the ancients too in the meantime. There's a the sentry wards there. Yeah. So you were talking about time. how, you know, Tinker, even if he doesn't get the best laning phase, he can still get a ton of farm later on. But we got, like, Doom up the top there, 49 kills already and 9 denies. And yeah. Tinker there at second place already, so... Farming yeah. going well here for MVP Hot 6 from the beginning. Yeah, they got a pretty easy matchup for Doom. Like, Doom against Prophet. Prophet is never going to kill Doom ever. So he, yeah. he's, like, he's an, under no pressure, whereas Fern has to be careful. Doom has a lot of damage. Yeah, you uh, see the disparity damage. here between Doom and Nature's Prophet is 35 creep kills. And already yeah. 10 denies coming out of Doom as well, so... Yeah, but like it shouldn't be that big. Like I think just uh, the caliber of play, the player like between the carry and their offender, like he's showing now. Mm -hmm. Mano is much better uh, controlling his lane than uh, Mega Play is. Yeah. So I mean, Chief. Not yeah. Play. Usually it's Mega Play. Plays off lane. Mm -hmm. Chief trying to come for a gang here. Gets the sprout here onto Musica. Can you get the surround? Oh, nice stun coming out of Earthshaker as well. They just need a couple more hits here. Oh, They're going to dive the power. Yeah, they will be able to easily pick that up. Again, Nature's Prophet, even though he's not doing so well in his reign, he's creating a lot of plays here for his team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's doing the right thing. Uh, okay, I'm getting crushed on my lane, so at least make something about the other lane. This is exactly what you should do when uh, your lane is not going well. Like, okay, you want the lane. I love my lane is getting crushed. I'm just going to try to impact the other ones. And yeah. And they're not stopping at that. DK's on the way to try to take down Rubik. Hiding in the jungles, nuts for now. Yeah, he ate a tree. He's like a really good hiding spot, so save there. Yeah, yeah they're the meantime, doing the right thing. Bomb was, was able to get that top tower. Yeah. Uh, Bison's gonna any shit on DK. Can they get it? Oh, but they don't have the damage. Yeah. Marks the machine coming down here. We see Tinker farming that as well. Garl was able to get a kill on Takamka. Yeah. Uh, Tinker farming the ancients while defending the tower at the same time. Yeah. And Doom has face boots, Midas, and 900 gold by 8 minutes. This is insane. He has yeah. insane farm. We already see the difference in net worth here between the teams. MVP is stomping so far, looks like up to 4,000. And even winning an XP as well, uh, 1,000 ahead. Yeah. Uh, this Doom is going to be a huge problem. He's going to get to a point where he can just go at jump in, like he's gonna get BKB blink, maybe Shivas and then and pretty fast because he has a Midas and Doom with, with Midas is probably the hero that farms the fastest. Yeah. Maybe bar like a uh, Max Evil uh Grievel's Greed Alchemist, but Alchemist doesn't have the same impact as Max Grievel's Greed. So. Oh man, they get the telekinesis on the pass and he is so squishy, he's so dead. Very He's gonna be able to clean up there. You're gonna try to get a trade something out of it. Yeah. Dragon form uh, not ready yet. 25 seconds to go. Yeah. Was able to pick up that rune earlier. DK was, so at least he's got that going for him. March of the Machines, Tinker's here trying to defend this tower. Oh, but, oh, there's going to be a lot of marches in two. Oh, and Doom coming in. He's coming from behind on Garl. Does get stunned, though, and shackled. But just may pay for it with his life. But a nice sprout here to save his life for now. But still, Chief is back here all alone. Oh, maybe he's going to get it. the Tinker. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. The ultimate didn't bounce at all on Tinker. This is wow. pretty unlucky for uh, yeah. for get out. Not the best RNG there. Losing that fight as well. Yeah. Uh, Banwa got greedy though. He didn't want to doom uh, 
GK was like, okay, it's probably most probably dead. I'm gonna keep it for uh, to get another kill behind it. So I mean, but he ends up losing a kill in that yeah. by not using it. He got the profit instead. Well, <laughs> kind of overextend like TPing to four people. Yeah. When you're uh, like 22 lasted 10 minutes in, not really the, the thing you want to do. Yeah. You know, team he's getting a little bit overconfident. You know, he's made some plays for his yeah. team already, so he's saying, hey, I can do this. Oh, but Panoha is ridiculous farm. He has like 76 lasted by 10 minutes. Yeah. Do you feel like, given the fact that, you know, both Doom and Tinker are pretty late game here, is the fact that they're getting this much farm, is there any way that Get Outs is going to be able to deal with this? Like, what would you recommend that this team do in this situation? They, 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 they need to. It's a very tough spot, actually. Well, hold that dog, Darl. This hit X marks the spot, and then. Talent of Dems comes on. He's a bit tanky, tanky, but I don't know if he's going to go down. Do you get the stampede in on here? He needs a bunch more damage, but a nice Fissure coming back here, and a nice turnaround actually onto Nuts. Yeah, now they get a kill on Rubik and on Centaur. This DK is like so tanky. They just can't kill him. Yeah. They don't have the damage without the Tinker to, to take him out. Kunkka trying to save himself here. Tinker comes back. Okay, now, the machines. Hard. Does have to be careful. A ton of Dems coming out there. They do get him. Just getting that kill. Garl does go down as uh, well. He wants to trade his life for Tinkers, but it's not going to happen. They don't have the damage. DK is dead. And now, Chief is Doom. He's not going to get away from it. Uh, Doom, Banhua gets the kill. and uh, I'm very scared to see like what kind of GPM and what is his net worth now. Because... It's gonna it's be, gotta be something ridiculous. Well, it's, gonna, it's gonna be out of control at this point. Yeah. But still, it was a. Uh, there was like four heroes on 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 Garl, but they, they couldn't kill it. They got a two kills in in exchange, and I think they kind of extended afterwards. Yeah. Zero's been really happy that they got initiated four on one, and they still get two kills and lose nobody. They should just go get back. Okay, we got a huge huge advantage. It's like yeah. they commit four heroes, they cannot kill me. What happens if I just uh, take this uh, advantage that I that I just got and try to roll over it, yeah. use it, and then yeah. then yeah, they might have a chance, but like they kind of like it's kind of evened out because he died. So. Yeah. Trying to counter initiate here on the tanker, just getting a little bit ahead of himself. Goes for that shackle, but he does go down. Doom running after Pesk as well gets that kill. And yeah, Doom right now, he's got the mech and he has Midas as well. He's so far. Look at this. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> And he already has 800 gold at the top of it. Yeah. Center doing well for himself as well. Has about 2200 gold by the blink dagger if he wants to. Yeah. There he goes. Gets the blink dagger. Okay. And the uh, Tinker should, uh, as he's been so shy, not very far away from his dagger. And as soon as he gets it, I don't see, I don't see get out killing him either. They don't have any, any heroes to initiate. They need the. Uh, like, Freon can TP and maybe try to reveal him. Like, uh, they, they don't have answers to the Tinker. Even if they manage to deal with the rest, they don't have answers to the Tinker in the late game. Yeah. The only thing they can do is, yeah, like, Serpent Wars, DK's huge. Well, DK's trying to make something work onto Nuts, but you gotta tell Kinesis is back here. Oh, but the Dragon from runs, runs out. Okay, they still get the kill. Maybe yeah. they can get Musica too. Um, Obama comes in here and he says, hello, I'm in your face. They get the Pusk as well, just running away. But Doom is on the chase, may be able to get it. Oh, uh, nice Fissure. Yeah, nice Fissure for defense there. Are they gonna, they might get Tinker? Oh, no, not even. Wow, so close, but they're not even able to get him. Now Garl on the run. Tinker picks up that kill as well. This is getting really one-sided at this moment. Yeah, like, I really think this uh, overextension uh, after DK, like, counter gank on DK. Oh. <laughs> they get cheap as well. Well, Double that's cool, five, five for zero. Yeah. Only 13 minutes into the game, we got a 5 for 0 trade here. MVP Hot 6 looking pretty primed to take this one. Yeah. If it was, if they had like some big game... Uh, oh god, Blink in here and just insta... Uh, this there. is very... This is so hard to play from behind when against a Centaur. You get behind on farm, on levels, on everything. There's a Centaur with Blink running around. With uh, the possibility of a Tinker tipping in and adding his his burst damage, is, it is so, so, so difficult to come back because yeah. you cannot be anywhere on the map or you just get caught. Now got center ahead of the mid lane of DK to get out. It's three players now ahead of the rest of the team of get outs. Yeah. Four hot six, so. 
And Sentry got an Invis rune, he's probably gonna wait bottom for anyone to come farm the lane and then kill him. Yeah, Maybe Rick from Manus is to steal breathe fire. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Off the DK. Yeah. And Silencer is so under farm, so he has nothing. He's yeah. he's on the same level as the enemy in Rubik. That's that's how that's how that's how bad that is. How bad it is. That is scary. Now they're just pushing towers. Tinker's in the mid. It's away. Uh, spamming much. Uh, DK was doing decent and like, oh, this is almost... Oh, he's gonna try to jump. Okay, like, yeah. jump on the Tinker and meanwhile, middle, they try to attempt on the girl, but he might... Uh, might be able to get nuts here if they get a bunch of dams coming yeah. out here. But that'll be about it. Yeah, it seems like Nuts is pretty gone. Are able to pick him up here, but Kunkka wants to say something else. Doom comes from behind, big blink in at a Tinker oh. as well, but a nice Vizier there. Yeah, but they can't, I don't think they can, they can't kill Battle. Right? Yeah, he has his back, but... God. <laughs> <laughs> Music again, three kills in a row. Doom is on the disc. Oh, he has or a, rather, he a wolf, so. Yeah, he's gone. A little death for the finisher there. Now up 20 to 8. Let's yeah, see that net worth chart as well. This must be pretty one-sided. Yeah, you can just look at the net worth charts there. D Doom almost at 10k net worth. Uh, he almost has his Shivas. He needs like uh, eight, no, 600 gold and he has it. Yeah. Meanwhile, like, <laughs> Ruby counting for this. Oh! Oh boy. Blink in by center. This guy's dead. There's just way too much damage coming out of this center right now. Can, as he, well. can he block? Can he get the block? Oh, no. Nope. 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 Looking pretty confident in his MVP Hot 6. Um, Tinker <laughs> managed to pick off uh, Earth Tricker in the meantime. So, like, they're dying all over the map. Tinker has a Dagon, so he can pretty much solo kill. He can solo kill Earth Tricker, he can solo kill Shadow Shaman, he can probably solo kill Silencer too. So, like, and it's pretty much the same for Doom, you can solo kill anybody. Centaur can almost solo kill anybody. Yeah. Uh, you can solo kill. So you have that many, that many heroes on one team that can solo kill anyone on the other team, it's. There is no much hope. Like uh, you, have to stick, you have to stick together, but even if they stick together, they lose the fight. So. Trying to TP in here on the Bonwa. Chief coming from behind as well. Trapping nuts in the trees, but. Too tanky. Yeah. Just able to run away in the meantime. Seems like Rod G and the Tinker was able to take down Pust. I think he's just gonna keep upgrading his Dagon, because why not? Yeah. Oh. Are they gonna do this uh, Kunkka? <laughs> <laughs> Allows him to go like, goes deep inside and like, not care, and comes back, okay, he'll back, and it's okay. Yeah. Oh, on Tinker on is a little bit overkill though. Yeah. I feel like MVP Hot 6 is just having a bit of fun at this yeah, point, yeah. you know. Kind of knowing they have the game won. Gotta push a bunch of towers, let Tinker do his thing. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> Jubia just sitting in base, spamming <laughs> X mark on, the, on Tinker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Jumps in on DK, who is really tanky himself, but is he able to sustain all the damage that's coming at MVP Hot 6? Well, Maybe. They might, they might get one. Yeah. They might get one. <laughs> Looks like they are able to finally pick off Doom. And Nuts just left all alone. I don't know if he can get away. Like, Tinker can get away with this because That's he has right. X Mark. Yeah. X Mark is put on him. He can just go dive <laughs> the enemy base and not care. They're just, just having fun. Again. Yeah, they're just having fun. Yeah. Jubei with the Fountain Gaming. <laughs> He's able to uh, just push lanes as well. Doesn't always have to go for hero kills, but. That was actually really funny. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's nothing new since the last patch. But oh, Chief. Trouble. Yeah, he's pretty much dead. Yeah, got the reload here. Blink after him and. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to juke around the trees, but not not quite able to. Well, no, Bano really wants to shoot. Oh, yeah, this time. Yeah, Doom comes down. The wards come down. They're trying to burst down Bawai. They do shackle him as well. Ah, oh, but he used Breath Fire just on the center of Bawai. Yeah. Looks like Bawai may go down here again. He does. Again, just trying to have a little bit of fun. Diving pretty deep here. Not really caring about much. 
do some tinker on the high ground. Help him push down that tower. So many machines. Too many machines. How to fight them? You can't even fight them back, man. Yeah. They're just sitting there. You cannot. You cannot hit them. They're like, yeah. So frustrating. Uh, Tinker is one of the most frustrating heroes to play, especially in pubs, because he, he requires uh, some commitment uh, on your team's part to uh, to deal with it. Like you need heroes like they're good at catching him, and you need like some coordination, team, some team play. You know, some sometimes the solo queue is not quite that uh, easy that, that, to get everybody you know agreeing and uh, working together. Yeah. But like especially on SES server, like all you see is Tinker all day, every day, every single day. That's why I've stopped playing here. Yeah. You play on the Chinese <laughs> server instead, the uh, skill level is much higher and no Tinker shenanigans. No Tinker. Just, yeah, no Tinker. They don't know how to play this way there. Well, music uh, looks a little bit caught here. He gets shackled, beaten down on by four players. The Tinker decides that uh, he's going to revenge. Here, blinks in onto Garl, gets him as well. There he is, back in the pool. Jimmy uh, <laughs> <laughs> is just sitting at base, man. He has, he's having the easiest game of his life. Yeah, he's just sitting well, there. Well, he missed it. He missed the X, man. Oh, what? You had one job, Jube. One job. <laughs> X mark the tinker. Get your act together here, Jube. You had one. Okay, is he going to miss it again? No, okay. You got it. And there's a, yeah, if you're a blade, so... All oh, hope is lost, man. Yeah. Everybody is... It doesn't even look like they're trying to end the game too much here. They're just killing people over and over yeah. and over again. We're now past 20,000, nearly 25,000 gold ahead. And Jube even has an uh, arcane boost. Like everything towards like making Tinker come back as fast as possible. This is the strat, man. Uh, you should just go ahead and go on, uh, <laughs> go on some server and do this together. Oh yeah, actually, like uh, we we've. Uh, had some fun with uh, some of the MVP guys with uh, March and uh, Heen, like uh, doing some, uh, trying to go in pubs and try to get the fattest tinker possible, <laughs> stacking the jungle and the ancients all at the same time, like uh, using the lone grid, you know, you stack with the. Yeah. Oh, but hold on. Oh man, they were trying to go into nuts here, but Center says no, he's going yeah, to just. Oh, just going on so easily there. Too tanky. Yeah, Nuts able to breathe fire here, a lot of DPS coming even out of him. Stampeding away. Oh. Crowd coming out to nuts. I think they may be able to knock him down here. He's all alone. But Tinker. Tinker's gonna come. And yeah, oh my god. <laughs> does nuts actually live? He does. Yeah. yeah this is GG's called. They they don't wanna play anymore against this team. So MVP hot six, pretty one sided game. As expected. Yeah, showing why they are the best team currently here in tier two. Having yeah. a bit of fun. <laughs> Juve, right? I mean it could have been <laughs> <laughs> Jube really did nothing, man. He's there. He's just sitting in base. Yeah. Spamming X on Tinker. He was like stacking jungle creeps as well for yeah. the game. Get out. They, they look frustrated, obviously. They're, their replacement player definitely looking hard there. But we are going to take a bit of a break here, guys. Stay tuned. Listen to the pretty lady in the high heels. Okay,今日のエンビディアシフトのオーディオ、全シングルを今シーズン3を行いました。参照、次男競技で、イオンフルを記録したキオンのレイブへ本競技が、皆さんの手が入ります。今日レイブがジェッパーはポカフェイスを
핵심 보장은 그대로. 가입은 쉽게. 그래서 인터넷 생명보험 누적 판매 1위가 되었습니다. KDB 다이렉트로 보험을 아끼자. 지금 확인해 보세요. KDB 다이렉트 보험. 진짜 에너지 드링 42.195 누구나 아이디어는 있습니다. 하지만 누구나 창의적이라는 말을 듣진 않습니다. 실패에 대한 두려움으로 새로운 시도를 망설이기 때문이죠. 창의적인 사람은 아이디어만 있는 사람이 아니라 실패의 공포를 이겨내고 도전하는 사람입니다. 사람이 미래다. 두산 KGB가 보험을 아껴드립니다. 인터넷으로 보험의 변화를 시도한 거죠. 그 결과 보험료는 30% 저렴 핵심 보장은 그대로 가입은 쉽게 그래서 인터넷 생명보험 누적 판매 1위가 되었습니다. KDB 다이렉트로 보험을 아끼자. 지금 확인해 보세요. KDB 다이렉트 보험. 진짜 에너지 드링. 42.195. 요즘 제일 바쁜 게 저라고 하죠. 깨워줘. 놀아줘. 쇼핑해줘. 이어줘. 찍어줘. 아이고. 하지만 제가 쉴 틈이 없다는 건 당신도 쉴 틈. 